This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. In a fire in the heart of the city, 200 huts gutted, four children injured, the cause of the fire unknown. Actor Vijay appeals to fans to continue supporting the AIA DMK led alliance. He also names Anand to head the Puducherry faction of his outfit. First changes in the bureaucracy, now change in the way the top order functions. A proposal to merge law, order, and crime sent to the DGP of the state. R. Ashwin gets candid on the turning point of yesterday's match and how taking out the Gale Storm is crucial for their victory. Only person that could have spoiled that party after 200 runs who was posted on that particular wicket on that ground was Chris Gale. Good evening to the news tonight on NDTV Hindu. I'm Sindhuja. Let's also scan the big stories making the national headlines. Ahead of tomorrow's Defence Secretary level meetings, AK Antony says India knows of 42 terror camps in Pakistan. The Punjab State Congress backs the Akhli Dal plea for clemency to death Rao convict Devinder Bhullar. Medical report confirms sexual assault of 14-year-old domestic help. Her 68-year-old employer was arrested for her murder yesterday. Six, 18 civilians and 20 policemen killed in US-led airstrikes against insurgents in Nuristan. Our top story this hour, in a fire accident that took place this afternoon, 200 guts, uh, huts were gutted out, uh, four children suffered burn injuries and are being treated at the Kilpock Medical College right now. 11 fire tenders, 8 metro water lorries and 4 ambulances were pressed into service. The fire raged for an hour and several gas cylinders and television sets were burnt in the fire. No loss of life has been reported and the cause of fire is yet to be assessed. now it's been nearly a week since the AIADMK MLA Mariam Pichai died in a road accident the same morning he was to be officiated in the Tamil Nadu Assembly. His car rammed into a truck on the Chennai Tuchi Highway and the Chief Minister J. Jalalitha has said that his death has taken place under mysterious circumstances and that a CBCID probe will be made. Forensic experts from Chennai are being roped in to aid the investigation but there has been no major breakthrough just yet. Now, Active Vijay has appealed to his fan base to strengthen the present government by continuing to extend support for its people-friendly measures. He thanked the fans who worked under Vijay Makkal Iyakam for the victory of the AIADMK-led alliance. He also announced that Anand of Puducherry will be a new office bearer in his political outfit. <laughs> Even as the new government has been fine-tuning its posting of top government officials, it looks like the Chennai City Police Commissionerate, which has a new head, J.K. Tripathi, is awaiting more changes in its functioning. This was in fact a change sought by the police themselves. Our crime reporter Salim brings you this report. Will there be a change in the chain of command for our men in khaki? Our policemen function under a very interesting bifurcation. Every police station in the city has two inspectors. One takes care of law and order, while the other is in charge of handling crime. And both of them are expected to report to an assistant commissioner, who in turn reports to the deputy commissioner of the area. The DC then reports to the joint commissioner. And the chain of command continues right up to the top in the present system. The joint commissioner then reports to two additional commissioners. After the AIA DMK swept to power in the first top-level administrative reshuffle, the government appointed J.K. Tripathi as Chennai City Police Commissioner, leading to an overhaul of the city's police force. A proposal to merge the functional divisions under one commanding officer has been sent to the DGP. Sources say that the proposal for a change in the chain of command makes sense and would lead to a more efficient force. If approved, Tamare Kannan, the additional commissioner of police, will take charge of both law and order and crime in all the 89 police stations in the Greater Chennai Limit. 
Additional Commissioner Abhay Kumar Singh will look after the Central Crime Branch Unit at the Commissioner's Office, in addition to the Anti-Vice Squad and Headquarters. In Chennai, with Salim, this is Sinduja for NDTV Hindu. Well, in some other news, a shopping mall in Chennai today launched a campaign against smoking and the use of tobacco ahead of uh, World No Tobacco Day, on, uh, which will be observed on Tuesday. Even as anti-smoking campaigns are gathering momentum, the central government has come out with a separate set of graphics of cancer-affected lungs and mouth. The centre has urged tobacco companies to carry more graphic pictorial warnings on tobacco and cigarette packets. The smoking habit on the friends on the Kampal Pania, Apa on the Urnala Gunno and the Putit and the Palakar. Ipa on the Nana total complete and Nirti Acha. I am as a dentist. It's my duty to inform all the others also to stop all the such tobacco activities and everything. Well, the drive has in fact evoked a very positive response from the people, so much so that many of them even pledged to give up smoking on the spot. Take a look. It has got several, uh, near about 4,000 chemicals and uh, hazardous uh, chemicals in smoking. And it will cause cancer, everything we know, but uh, we are not in a position to quit. Because, uh, because it has become a habit for the past uh, 20 years. But this day, I just uh, uh, want to uh, stop smoking. On the smoke, the mind is gone, the relax is relaxed. But on the whole body, the relax is relaxed. You know where you are going. In a major fill-up to sports in the state, the Tamil Nadu Sports Minister N.R. Sivapati today said that the government will identify men and women interested in sports and provide them equal opportunities. Sports persons in rural areas will be given training by the government. He in fact came to inspect the Anna Indoor Stadium in Trichy. Renovation work is being carried out at the cost of 1.7 crore rupees. National level people of the portal Pangaburundra, Nichol Vira Vira International level, Ola Galavil, our Pangabur all over K, our Paichi Kurute. Now, while CSK defended its IPL title in Chennai yesterday, and R. Ashwin, who played an important role in helping the team complete its victory lap, he talked exclusively to NDTV Hindu. Let's listen to what he had to say. Quiet and unassuming, but clearly he's a silent killer. And yes, we're talking about R. Ashwin. Thanks so much for talking to us. Um, but really, in, in, in that big game at the final, your defining moment was taking out Chris Gale, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was for most of the people of Chennai and for the team as well. Only person that could have spoiled that party after 200 runs who was posted on that particular wicket on that ground was Chris Gale. And uh, having said that, I think it was one of the final wickets that we played on. It was not as bad as it, was, it could have been. It was, it's qu it was quite good because the ball uh, hit by us just went out of the ground and the ball they hit never went out of the ground. So it was, it was a very, very good day for us. All right. Certainly all the fans were cheering for that. But tell us really, is there something called an ESP between all of you and the Chennai Super Kings squad, an extra sensory perception to keep your teamwork going together? There has to be something going because uh, it's the same team for about four years now. And uh, the team that won the IPL and the Champions League, we have about uh, nine of them playing in the 11. And uh, if you put Anirudh back into the side, it's almost 10. Uh, Anirudh and Saha are not very different, very, very good, good guys. Saha is a very big team man. He has not batted many times. Whenever he's got to bat, he's done brilliantly. And uh, the most important thing is, as a team, we acknowledge these facts. The small, small things done by these people, which probably is keeping the team together. You had told NDTV earlier that it was the fan activity and all of the things that CSK was doing that uh, really kept the fan base going. And do you believe in that yet again, uh, considering the crowd that gathered at the final? The Chennai crowd has always been supportive of good cricket, very knowledgeable crowd and I've always always said this, I've been a part of that crowd. It's a crowd which gave a standing ovation to the Vasimakram side that won the test, uh, test game against India here. Mm -hmm. So you can expect that from Chennai but uh, 
it was a lot better this year last year the sixes hit against chennai was also cheered it wasn't quite this year it's quite happy for that mm -hmm. but um, even even if there was no fan activity or anything special that we took uh, to do something about the fans they'd still turn up i think they're very very passionate about cricket and uh, a lot of people here know how exactly chennai operates they're very humorous people they send us messages and all that there are lots of messages circulating about how badly we did last year and how well we did then to win the cup and how well we are doing now to win the cup they just they just very humorous people and we just take it in our stride enjoy it and every message that we get from uh, the outside world we just share it among ourselves we have a nice gaga laugh about it we never we are very we are very upbeat unit we enjoy each other's company all right come sticking with the ipl now really do you believe uh, like many others uh, that it should be more about the indian players and uh, sort of having more indians really in the uh, playing squads yeah, four and seven is a good combination to have right now but uh, if there has to be a situation where you can play eight or nine indians in the side so be it but uh, it's 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 happened in quite a few games uh, such a such a tendency played about eight or nine indians in the first game last year or this year i'm not very sure about it but then if the team combination needs that then you can do it but it, it's not necessary that you need to have the foreigners in spite of not having the exact men for the job mm -hmm. but then indians are definitely getting very very confident after the ipl has started i think it's been a real confidence booster to each one of us all right if you look at most of the front page uh, newspapers uh, the picture that you see of your entire squad holding the cup doesn't have ms dhoni right up front what is it about his secret to his composure and he takes the back seat most of the time and lets you guys take the front seat i mean it's it's a sign of a good leader all i can say is that's it but uh, he's uh, he's always such a captain even the world cup he never came in front and the players had to force him to come in front i mean there are quite a few people who are shy or going to shy away from it i don't know if he's shying away from it or if he's that kind of a person or i don't know because i also tend to shy away a lot and sit back uh, and stand back behind the lines and all that but uh, it it can be a lot to do with your personal personal nature or agenda or something but i mean it doesn't really matter he still stands behind the stumps as well All right. Now the last but not the least uh, difference between playing for CSK and Team India. Uh, Team India is your country. Uh, you wear the cap every time with a lot of uh, pride. And for me, it's all about a childhood dream. So whenever I don that particular cap or the jersey, it's it's a different feeling altogether. The pressure is definitely more. When I play for CSK, I'm not saying the pressure is not there, but uh, we all we all we all know how the unit is. And uh, with the Indian team, you're going to play against another country. You're going to pitch be pitched up pitched against another 11 people who are going to come hard against you. and uh, it's it's country versus country it's a different ball game altogether time now to take a break on news tonight but on the other side meet india's first dalit billionaire with his mnc in ukraine